Okay, so let's go through what I've been reflecting on and thinking about over the last week. So one of the first things that I have here is that everyone wants to take credit for their part in your success, but not the responsibility for your scars. Um, I do think that's true. Um, I think all of us have people in our lives who use us. It's funny, actually, I work in a school and one of the things that I'm constantly telling students is that you have to be very careful that you're not being used because, for example, I have a student in my school who is like very abrasive. She is very confident. She is um, very confrontational. And I said to her that ev almost every single time I find that there is an incident involving another student, she is either been involved in it, she's there, she's been, um, someone brings her along to come and, and back them up, or someone tells her and then she feels a need to do something. I was explaining to her the other day that you need to be really careful because you're being used and you don't even realise you're being used, right? And it's the same. A lot of people don't realise that in life, some of us, we can become successful but let's ask ourselves, why are our parents pushing us in a certain direction? Why is it that they think that we have to be a doctor in order to be successful? Yes, you can be successful as a doctor, but that doesn't mean that that's how you define success to be, right? I remember Dale, I think it was Dale Carnegie or um, Earl Nightingale, who said that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. In other words, you can consider yourself to be successful if you decide you want something and then you start heading in that direction. You start going towards the, the thing that you've intentionally decided that you want. And the key thing that he talked about was intention. Intention is a center of tr really all true happiness, right? There is that saying that says one of the worst things that can happen is to go and live a life and one day discover that the ladder that you built your life on or that you climbed up was the wrong ladder, right? Um, and it, it, it's, you know, I, I, I've said to people before, and it's something that I've said many times in my videos, we, I believe that we all have what I call the two colours, so we have the color, which is the color that we have to show the world. And then we have what is I call the our essence. So the color that we have to show the world is can be like blue, which is essentially a color where, look, the reality is if clearly you're going to be going to your work a Christmas do, you have to behave in a certain way, right? If you are around, if you're going to meet your girlfriend or your boyfriend's parents for the first time, you kind of need to behave in a certain way, right? Now, some people may say, well, why should I be fake? Why should I pretend to be something I know I'm not? Well, life is this kind of dance between these two colors, between being authentic to who you are, but also going along in the world. Because I remember listening to Jordan Peterson and Jordan Peterson said something that I'll never forget. He said that, as a parent, your primary role is to ensure that your child is liked by other people. Because, and, and in fact, I actually talked about this in my last book that I wrote, because the reality of life is none of us live in the world by ourselves, right? We live in the world with other people. We don't just, you know, it, some of us obviously live in the middle of nowhere, but the reality is for the majority of us, we live in societies where there is loads of people. And I say this to students all the time. Most of the things that you're gonna want in your you're gonna want in your life, somebody already has it. And your job is to essentially encourage either encourage them or exchange something or persuade somebody to give it to you. Now, usually, of course, in life you have to exchange it for something, right? So the first color is is the color that we have to show the world. The second color that we have as people is the color that we we are, right? And that color can be, I don't know, orange. Now, the problem is a lot of us, we lose who we are at the core whilst trying to fit into the world. And so that's where there is this balancing act that you have to go through in life, right? Where you're trying to, in one sense, 
be who you authentically are as much as you can, but at the same time, you want to be able to move forward, right? So there are times when you need to shut up and say nothing, but there, there are times when you do need to start to stand up for your convictions and to stand up for what you believe and stand up for what you know is the truth, right? Um, but the question is, when do we do that? And that's what one of my last books I was talking about, because most of us struggle with this balance of when should I stop and when should I go? When should I go hard and when should I go slow? When should I be who I am and when should I pretend to be something else? Um, to what um, a quantity or intensity should I be myself or other people? Should I tell the truth and the total truth or should I kind of sometimes tell a white lie? It's this kind of dance that we constantly have to go through. And I say, as I say, I've been thinking about this because I just feel like so many of us go through life not realizing that people can be, we, people can use us, right? I'm sure you've heard of people say all the time that be oh, good people, good people finish last in the race or something like this, or good people finish last. Well, the reason for that is because somebody who believes only in good doesn't take account for the bad. And the reality of life is that there is bad in the world. There are people who, if they, you know, who, if they can cheat and lie and manipulate, they will. I was explaining to um, a student the other day and I said, look, one of the most we were talking about how which lessons they wanted to do because they were struggling to go to a lot of lessons and we were choosing okay let's reduce your timetable so that you go to more lessons and we were deciding which lesson uh this student should go to, should should go to and one of the things that i said was she said to me that she didn't want to go to maths and i said that is one subject you have to go to because it is a principle, it is a key, it is a cornerstone of just living a successful life because the reality of life is if you don't know how to count or you're not very good at maths or you don't understand how to do quick maths or you're not proficient, prof 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 proficient, 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 you're not you're not confident in doing maths very quickly, what can happen is you can go to a shop, buy something, and somebody can maybe pay you £10 less, and you won't even realise that it's happened. Now, that, of course, may not seem significant, and it's just like, okay, fine, it's a tenner. The problem is, what if that happens all throughout your life, right? All of a sudden, you've lost a huge amount of money, and it's like, whoa, how did this happen? It happened because you didn't pay attention, because you were missing really important aspects of life. And one of the most important aspects of life is for us to look at who is influencing us, what are these what are people around us saying to us? What do people want people around us want from us? I was saying to a student the other day, I said Basically, she had gotten into a fight with another girl, with another female student. And I said to her, this wasn't the other day, this was yesterday. And I said to the student, I said to her, um, uh, so what happened? And she was explaining to me what happened. And one of the things that she was saying to me, she said, well, sir, they, my best friend and everyone has been telling me that she said stuff about me. And I said to her, why would they say that to you? You know? Why would these all of these people go out of their way to obtain certain information and then come and find you and tell you the information? My question is, what was their intention? What did they want to do? It just so happens that the girl who, of course, got into a fight has a massive temper. She's a little bit paranoid in that and very self-conscious. She doesn't like anyone talking about her. She doesn't like any rumours. She doesn't like anyone even mentioning her name. If you walk in the corridor and even look at her, she will usually kick off. And the other students, of course, know this. So if they're bored and they're looking for a little bit of excitement, she's a really easy target. And I was explaining this to her. And so I guess the thing that I ask you and I would ask you to think about in your own life is, are you being used? Yeah. Is 
Are there people in your own life who are using you for things that you don't even realize? Are you being influenced to go in a certain direction, but you don't even realize that you're being influenced to go in that certain direction? Why are people asking you to go out? Are they asking you to go out because you're genuinely their friend and they want to see you? Or are they asking you to go out because they have nobody else and you're the only person who is most likely to be able to buy them a drink? Or maybe they're even broke and have no money. It, it's like, I know this sounds terrible to say this, but this, like, if you look at the arc of somebody's life, it is very, very, very easy to live a life where you get to the end of that life and you're like where is my when when will i get my thing when will i win when will i when will it be my turn to have happiness joy laughter fulfillment when will that be for me um and i just feel like that resentment usually leads to people being very vengeful right um, or being very vindictive because they're like, the world is unjust, the world is unfair. But they haven't recognized and mastered the other elements of life which exist, which is darkness, malevolence, lying, cheating. All of these aspects of life exist in coexistion co with joy, happiness, fulfillment, truth, love. They both exist at the same time. I was I, I keep saying this to people all the time. When we're younger or when we haven't developed our consciousness and self-development and ourselves and our awareness of the world and, and, and just how the world functions and how people function, we tend to see the world in black and white. Right? I'm either the victim and other people are perpetrators. But the reality of life is that's not really how life is. Life is more grey, right? It's it, there's a lot of nuance in life. It's a lot more complicated than what most of us make it out to be. Situations are a lot more complex. Um, and actually, even with other people, when we're judging other people or we're seeing other people, I think it's really important for us to look at ourselves and say, well, what's their story? What was their intention? What are they, what were they trying to to do. This is something that I've been thinking about for a long time and is is really quite a major problem in the world I've noticed, which is that people just don't have wisdom today. People don't, to, this is my perception of it anyway, and I could be wrong, I've been wrong many times, but today, like sometimes I'll watch a video and I'll read the comments on the video and clearly you can see that the video is a joke, but the way people take it so seriously and it's like, dude, come on. Put the context. The person is a comedian. The person is known for pushing boundaries. So why are you surprised that they're, that, that they're making such a joke? And if you don't like the joke, just click off it. It's not a big deal. And I just feel like today we're living in a world where a lot of people are just, I don't know, like they just don't have an understanding of how people work, why people do the things that they do, when they should just shut up, when they should just ignore things. Um, I think people make situations bigger than what they are. I could, I could be wrong, but I just feel like so many of us are being hindered in life because of just, we're just, we, we're not prioritizing the right things. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's just my perception of what I've realized. Um, Comment below. What, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'm always interested to hear other people's perspectives. Look, I'm, I've always said to you guys, I'm not an expert at anything. Okay. I'm not even an expert at myself. So I can't be an expert at anything. But what I can do is I can share with you what I believe to be the truth based on principles, keys, um, and lessons and perceptions and, um, and understanding of things that I have read. It doesn't mean it's the truth. You know, I've said to you guys on many occasions, and I said this in my first book, that there are two types of truths. There is a truth and then there is the truth. A truth is um, your perception of something, right? So meaning me and you can be at a music festival and it's raining and there's a Metallica's playing. You can be having a great time and I can be having a really crap time. The question is, which one of us is right? 
the answer is we're both right. It's just that we're seeing it from different angles. And then on the other side, there is the truth. The truth is, and is incontrovertible. You can't argue with it, right? And the easy example I give people is gravity. Gravity is the truth. Meaning, if you go on top of a building, irrelevant of whether you're a nice guy, you're a kid, you're in Africa, you're old, you're Muslim, you're Christian. If you go on top of a massive building, which is really high, and you jump off it, I can assure you, you're never going to fly. Okay? You're always going to go down. We all know that. It's incontrovertible. Now, usually when I say this kind of stuff, people try to get clever and they're like, well, what if there were, what if I had wings? What if I had, um, some sort of power, parachute or something? Well, now that's different. We're not talking about that because now you're changing the, uh, the, the game that we're playing or the, 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 the situation that we're talking about. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's just right. Comment below. I, I